Hi, I'm Kristen Patterson, and I'm here to show you the next step after hopefully you've practiced along with the learning vibrato part one and part two, where I showed you how to do air vibrato without the violin, then in part two, how to do it with the violin and the bow, putting it together, and now we're going to be putting those techniques that you've been hopefully practicing into some music, some very simple, slow music. This is how I teach my students, so I wanted to share it with you too. We're gonna use a song that hopefully many of you have learned called Lightly Row. It's gonna go super slow. So first I'm gonna show you how it's gonna go without any vibrato. So maybe you can learn it with me if you don't know it. Play it with me a few times without vibrato. Then I'm gonna show you how to add vibrato. So here we go. This is Lightly Row, super slow. No vibrato. One, two, here we go. Starting with the four on D. metronome set to 50 for the quarter note. It's pretty slow, but that's going to be super important when we're going to add the vibrato. So we're starting at the fourth finger, the note A on the D string. By the way, this technique is going to work both for viola and violin. Just make sure you're playing it on the D string, starting with the fourth finger A. So the first measure is where we're going to add our first vibrato wobble. Yay! And all we're going to do is one wobble on each half note in the song. So the first measure is going to sound like this. It's not very good sounding, but this is really important for our technique. So we're going to go A, F sharp, F sharp, and a wobble. Watch how we do it. Now wobble. Okay, that's all it is. Here it is again. Wobble. Now watch from this angle. Next measure is G, E, E wobble. So we're gonna wobble on the half note E. Starts up bow, so it's gonna go like this. E wobble. Okay, watch it again, on the side more. And then the next one is not until we're doing the fourth finger, A, on the D strings. We're going to do uh, three of those. So on the, on the half note, we're going to add a wobble. Four wobble. Now we discussed earlier how the fours are really tricky to get them to pull back. So do your best. This is not going to sound like much, but it's the idea that we're going for later. We'll be able to add intensity. So here's how it goes. Watch from the side. That's all it is. Okay? Next part's just like the beginning. A, F sharp, F sharp, wobble. Here we go. F sharp, wobble. Okay? Try it again. A, F sharp, F sharp, wobble. Okay, then G, E, E. Then we're going to go D, F sharp, A, A, and then hold an F sharp for four beats. 
On the F sharp whole note, we're going to do three wobbles. Three. So it's going to be this. One, two, three. We're going to play the note first. F sharp, wobble, wobble, wobble. Here's how it's going to be on the music. So it's going to be F sharp. So we go play. Wobble, wobble. Isn't that cool? Three of them. Measure before that we have D, F sharp, A, and F sharp, wobble, wobble, wobble. Yay! Okay, then we're gonna go with an E. Um, we're gonna do E, F sharp, G. G, A wobble. Wobble. Okay, then just like the beginning, 4, 2, 2, A, F sharp, F sharp. Wobble. G, E, E. E wobble. D, F sharp, A, A, and then we hold the D. Part, I'm going to show you how to do an open vibrato and then I'm going to show you how to do the whole thing adding the steps that I just showed you. So join me in part four. Bye-bye.